If I compare the results with the control group, the cell increases wound healing by 20 to 25 percent, and the increase in cells responsible for the primary defense, which is the first system in our bodies that fights off germs, goes up to 60 percent. That's a big improvement. My name is Peter Darsh, and I am the CEO of Darsh Scientific GmbH, which focuses exclusively on cell biological test systems. All our test systems are animal-free. My company was given two anonymized energy chips to test for positive effects at the cellular level. One of the chips was informed and energized, and the other one was a fake. It was just a placebo, and we didn't know, however, which was which. So we did our analyses, and were surprised that one of the chips was noticeably better than the other one. It clearly improved the rate of cell regeneration and wound healing more than the second chip did. It also proved to significantly and efficiently increase the positive effects of the defense cells in the blood, which normally kill off the microbial pathogens that have entered the body. The 25% increase in wound healing or cell regeneration is among the highest of the many, many tests we have done over the years, or rather, in the past few decades, I should say. The 60% increase in the case of the cells responsible for the defense against germs that have entered the body is also very promising. If you cut your finger, it will take about four days to heal. If you use a cell, which speeds up the wound healing process by 25%, the wound would already be closed after three days. I always end up saying that I'm just a cell biologist. Usually, the effect is due to so-called quantum physical phenomena I can't explain. And when it's possible to explain them, it's the type of explanation where someone with a scientific background would say, that's impossible. Um, what's interesting to me is the fact that cells work. They have an effect. And, and that's the crucial point. I'll leave it up to other scientists to figure out how it works.